Have you ever felt that you've been manipulated into doing something that you didn't really want to do? Or been persuaded to do something that you regretted later? You may not realise it, but there are over 50 hormones racing around your brain controlling your behaviour, which are alarmingly easy to stimulate. And that's why we're all suckers for being manipulated. Q Ultra Hip Birdie, Queen of Flattery. Nice dress, nice jacket. Nice. Birdie aims to get an unsuspecting shopper to hand over a precious item of clothing using the three classic stages of the art of manipulation. Trust, bonding and touch. If she plays it right, the shoppers will be putty in her hands. Because flattery gets you everywhere, darling. Birdie spotted some prime candidates. Hi, guys. How are you? I run a style website, a blog yeah. called Style Pop, and you guys look amazing. I'd love to get a photo of you guys and quick chat about your fashion style. It's super hot. Is that OK? Love your T-shirt. When Birdie tells them they look great, feel-good hormones flood their brains. Now they trust them. Thanks, guys. Hold on, let's just get some nice photos. OK. Looking beautiful. Just going to get some close-ups of your shoes as well. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, my God, I've got a really good idea. Do you mind? Can I put this on you so we've got, like, double tartan going on and then take a photo of that? Is that cool? By swapping clothes, Birdie's bonding with them, making them even more gullible. OK, give us really, really your fiercest expressions, your fiercest possible looks. Is it work it? Like, imagine you're on the catwalk, a few little poses. That's it. Maybe, like, we need some different shapes. Maybe, like, an arm in the air? Yeah, that's per perfect. Oh, my God, I love it. I love it so much. OK, do you know what we're going to try and do quickly? That's cool. I'm going to try your cardigan on, because I want to, like, do before and afters. When she touches them, more feel-good hormones are released. Now they're really vulnerable. Perfect. So, um, Lady Gaga's quite a big fan of our vlog, and one of the things she does for us is sometimes if we get people who look really cool, she gets a photo superimposed of her in with them. And the icing on the cake, Birdie plays the celeb card to see if she can make them drop their guard completely. So what I'd like to imagine is she's in the middle of you guys. Put your arms up. OK. You could stand a little bit to the left again. She's only got one neck, girl, so you have to put your arms together. Sorry. That's it. Perfect. OK, down a bit, bit, bit lower, bit lower, bit lower, bit lower. Bit lower. That's it. She's, and now, can you just pretend you're kissing her on the cheek? Perfect! Oh my god, she's gonna love this. And finally, will the girls be persuaded by Birdie's flattery to hand over a precious item of clothing? What if I did it with one of the hats and we do it like each of, each of you wearing the hat and then I give her the hat to wear and then we could do that? Would that work with one of your hats? What do you think? One of us would have to not wear a hat. And then I can guarantee you that it'll be on the front page of our vlog. It'll be like that's a feature shot. What do you think? Oh my god, I love you guys! That'll be amazing! so much. Stay looking fabulous and thank you for this. She's going to love it. Take care. So, I'm going to ask people to compare a drawing by something with great technical ability but zero human soul with a drawing done by somebody with a zero technical ability but full human soul. These are the two. Spotted some arty looking people. <laughs> So, which one do you prefer? I think I like that one. Which one of these do you prefer? Go with the gut. Uh, I will show you the one on the right. The one on the right? Yeah, okay. The one on the right. Okay. Here we go. Specimen A and specimen B. Well, you know, I guess I prefer the coloured one. I much prefer that. It's exciting, it's vibrant, it's, um, it's spontaneous, it's a bit more alive. There's more emotion maybe in there. If I was to tell you one of these was drawn by a robot, which one would you suspect? The one on the right. <laughs> I, th I think that, that changes my opinion. I mean, yeah, it's always nice to know that there's a human behind it. No, you know what? Now, as you said that, I should have known this is done by a robot. Here's emotion in it. A robot can do that. Well, okay. thank you very much. You've done a much better job than the robot. That's ah, sure. score. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I'll shake your hand for that. Yes, <laughs> thank you very much. Okay. Well, uh, that was interesting. I'm glad I just didn't get a complete caning. Generally, people did feel that this was the technically better drawing, but that this one had something that was a little bit more alive, a little bit more emotion to it. 
uh, and everyone guessed that this one was done by the robot, almost everyone. And after people found out it was the robotic art, it didn't seem to bother them that much. So who knows, maybe there is a future for robots in the world of art. Oh, hi, how are you? Yes. Doing very well, how are you? Yeah, I'm all right. So you're in the midst of a humongous tour at the moment. How's it been going? Um, it's been going very well. I've been touring for um, a sort of endless tour. I've actually seen you compared in The Guardian to Bob Monkhouse. Now, are you flattered by that? Will you take it and run with it? Or are you offended by it? There are overlaps. <laughs> <laughs> She's been lying in wait, ready to grab him. Come with me, follow me down. So when you first went in there, there were two guys in there using the urinals. So yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you think when you saw them in there? Well, I let them do their thing, then I'll come do my thing. So you didn't feel particularly comfortable? No, I'm not comfortable. Two guys, like, we in next to me. Okay, so I think from just that information that there's quite a lot that I can tell about you as a person. Yeah. I'd say you're the kind of person that likes to choose your words wisely, like to think before you speak. Yeah. And I'd say that when you go on holiday, you like to stick by the pool, you like to stick by the hotel. You're not going to, like, go and book a hundred different day trips. No, and Go no. on a massive adventure and, like, yeah, you know, yeah. try and see everything. Somewhere that's a bit familiar to me. Yeah. yeah. When you're working or if you're studying, you like to have silence around you. Yeah, that's true. Man. No television, no radio. You're not, yeah. not the kind of person that likes other people to be around them when they're working. It's yeah, 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 yeah. You that's, on your own, yeah. yeah. Focus on your work. Yeah, that's true. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much.